disturbing sex kitten French Vogue photo shoot featuring children. I'll put this link up tonight too and all these links up tonight. And it's from Vogue magazine. I've always said this, that the biggies are all working together to push the agenda forward. They all work together on cue. There's nothing out there. There's nothing out there that it's not part of this big system in mainstream. All your mainstream media, all your magazines, all the things that influence your mind, influence your behavior, you know, experts say, experts say, yada yada. This issue of French Vogue features a, f- a truly disturbing video photo shoot uh, featuring young girls around six years old in heavy made-up high-heeled and designer clothes. Some pictures actually sexualize these girls by placing them in strange settings, and then they're all in the postures, of course. Notice the presence of uh, feline prints in many photos, a reference, a reference sex kitten programming, which is also called beta programming, uh, loss of innocence, premature sexualization, awkward settings, Ritual abuse, blank stares, the pictures truly reek of mind control children. Because you see, as long as a child can consent, apparently according to the big pervs at the top, uh, then it's okay. That was said in court in Britain with a judge not too long ago, I read it again on the air, when he said that it was a victimless crime because the child, who was precocious and advanced for years, agreed to have sex. Now, what person at 10 years old knows what they're truly doing or the repercut? Repercussions down the road. Just because I've watched oozles and oozles of porno stuff on television and probably with her mummy sitting watching it along with her because well, everyone's been contaminated in turn. Every generation till, well, I watched this so this isn't bad with my daughter. You see, until you're watching the full thing and then your little daughter uh, is trying to emulate you. You see. What do you think the Spice Girls and all that was about, too? You saw the age group they were targeting? What do you think music television's all about? I'll tell you, anyone wanting a child today, and it happens to be a female, better make sure she's an awfully good dancer, because that's going to be the only work she'll get in the future. I'm not kidding you. How to destroy a society. How to destroy a society where they'll have lots and lots of sex but never bond, exactly what Julian Huxley said they would have to make happen. And he even went in to the fact that deviancies of all kinds would arise because there were no consequences and that laws would have to change and that uh, anything would go as long as it did not have offspring. So this is the world that's been produced. That's the world we're into now. And um, it's got further to go, obviously, but not very far at all. You will see this eventually in a barrage of things happening in the paper with elder so-and-so uh, has, is in love with 15, then 14, then 13. They've already had some in Britain, apparently. You know, This is how it's going to, to normalize it. You can normalize anything. And I knew this was coming, because I, mean, I sent it out the, the, the Jimmy Savile affair and the Hullabaloo and, uh, and all the, the even higher people uh, in royalty, etc., that have been protected by that nobility, uh, the ones that have been into pedophilia for many, many years, well known by all the press, by the way. And uh, I knew that eventually they'd, what they'd do is just uh, go the opposite way. Get, what they'd get out of it would be never what you expected. Not the arrest or so on. No, they'll call to end the, the term pedophilia altogether. Because you see, the big boys want this to be eliminated. Remember what I mentioned before to do with the, the Frankfurt School? Destroy the cultures right down to the very base of cement that held them together and made them function. That means every single bit of it. Everything that you believed in and loved and everything else, totally, utterly destroyed. Everything that was practical and sensible and worked had to be destroyed. And then, then they'd rebuild the culture all over again, the, the global culture, that is. And that meant, too, that there's no such thing as underage sex with children. And here it comes, of course, stop persecuting ageless celebrities and lower the age of consent. A UK barrister or lawyer, Barbara Hewson, said it says here. So, so I'll go into this article when I come back, but it's not a surprise to me. Mind you, she wants a bit of fame because she's, she likes to get on television, this woman. Back with more after this. 
Hi folks, I'm Alan Watt, we're back cutting through the Matrix, talking about, what's, you can always tell what's going to happen, because eventually they, want, they really, really do want to do away with the age of consent altogether. And some countries, they've already lowered it for homosexuality down to 14 years, and they want to go lower and abolish it altogether. Anyway, this is a, this is a lawyer in Britain, uh, who sometimes appears on the BBC apparently with her viewpoints and different things. She specializes in, in the feminist agenda, of course, and uh, abortion rights and so on. Anyway, she says that um, in an article for online publications, spiked Hewson, a barrister, which is a lawyer at Hardwick Chambers, London, who specializes in reproductive rights, called for the end of anonymity for complainants. And the human rights lawyer labelled crimes committed by Halls, is another BBC guy I've read recently, um, uh, for assaulting 13 girls, the youngest aged just nine years old, as low-level misdemeanours. It makes you wonder about her own proclivities too, doesn't it? Doesn't it do that to you? In a statement, Hardwick said, we're shocked by the views expressed in Barbara Hewison's article on spikes. We didn't see or approve the article pre-publication, and we completely dissociate ourselves from its content and any related views she may have expressed via social media or any other media outlets. Her comments come as Scotland Yard continues with the call Operation U-Tree, an investigation split into three inquiries into allegations involving deceased presenter Jimmy Savile, claims involving Savile and others, and those involving just others. Um, this is... Um, a number of high-profile figures have been arrested under u such as entertainer Rolf Harris, former pop star Gary Glitter, DJ Dave Lee Travis, comedian Jim Davidson, and PR guru Max Clifford, all deny any wrongdoing. Actually, a pedophilia will always deny wrongdoing because they don't see it as doing wrong. They'll say that's their preference. Uh, Miss Hewson argued that the, mo- the post civil witch hunting of aging celebrities echoes the Soviet Union and says it's not difficult to see why some elderly d- defendants conclude that resistance is useless. Well, the Soviet Union was different because uh, that was just politicians, the, the, the high politicians getting rid of other politicians to make room for the relatives. That's generally what they did. It was all relatives that ran the Soviet Union, you know. There was just different big families of relatives that actually came into the Soviet Union from elsewhere. She added, but the low-level misdemeanors with which Stuart Hall was charged, young girls, are nothing like serious crime. Ordinarily, Hall's misdemeanors would not be prosecuted, and certainly not decades after the event. So time's okay. I guess if you murder someone 20 years ago, it's okay now, eh? What we have here is the manipulation of the British criminal justice system to produce scapegoats on demand. Scapegoats, who were kind of horny goats at the time, wouldn't you say? It says, as for law reform, now regrettably necessary, my recommendations are to remove complainant anonymity, introduce a strict statute of limitations for criminal prosecutions and civil actions, and reduce the age of consent to 13. That's for recommendations. Makes you wonder where she's at, eh? And it says, Peter Watt, the director of the National Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Children, Helpline said, these outdated and simply ill-informed views would be shocking to hear from anyone but to hear them from a highly experienced barrister or lawyer, simply beggars belief. And Stuart Hall has pleaded guilty to abusing children as young as nine-year-old. We think most would agree that crimes of this nature are incredibly serious. But as we all go down the tube, you see, with moral relativity... Well, I guess whatever's wrong is just your own idea of what's right and wrong. That's what they tell you, isn't it? Isn't it, folks? That's why you're so easily used and abused. And an awful lot worse to come with the masters of the world. From Hamish, myself, Montier, Canada, it's good night, me, your God, your gods, go with you.